Tony Demore here, Demore Engineering. We got the rabbit back to the uh, tweeter not working amplifier going into protection saga. This is part two. This tweeter had no output when it was hooked up to the amplifier and the amplifier was protecting. That was our original problem. If you hadn't uh, seen part one of this, go check part one out. It's only a few minutes long. So I can hear that, it's working. Are we still getting the crazy impedance reading? So the tweeter's working, can hear it playing. So it's not a dead tweeter. This has a normal impedance curve up here. So that sounds like there's definitely something wrong with one of the passive crossovers, which I don't find hard to believe at all because those were hand-built custom crossovers before Knowledge Fest Dallas that I threw together and they're underneath 312s just getting punished. So maybe something on the circuit board broke loose. 15 minutes later. We found the problem. We found a bad capacitor in uh, one of our passive crossover units. These are just some um, one-offs that we mocked up for the Dallas Knowledge Fest show. We found a bad cap there. So we're good to go there. The tweeter is good. I didn't smoke it. And we verified that with the IMSG tool. We, could, we can hear it play and we can see the whole impedance curve of it. All we have to do now is put these crossovers back in and we're good to go. But of course, we didn't label the wires. Why would we? So we have six wires here that we have to determine what is what. And I'm not gonna use a nine volt battery and pop it and have someone go listen to the speakers trick. We've got this IMSG tool here. I think we can do it as a one man job. We don't even need a, uh, a second person. We can just sweep them and simply look at the resonant frequency. And we could determine from looking at that, which one of these is the two inch dome and which is the one inch dome because the two inch will have a lower resonant frequency. And let's try it. Let's figure out what these wires are. So you got those there. So let's sweep it. You see it just says open here at any frequency. So this one's open at all these frequencies. So that means there's nothing connected to that wire. And that's because it's probably this wire right here that's disconnected from the amplifier. So that's the one that goes to the amp see what else we get so I hear a sound so it's definitely hooked to a one of those domes which dome that's the question so let's find the resonant of this one We're looking for a peak looks like I just passed it so this one has a peak down at about 460 Hertz all right let's take a look at the the other one Looks like this one has a peak at about 600 hertz. So I would say that's the one inch and the lower frequency one was the two inch. So there we go, another cool use for the IMSG. We know what all these wires are now. We're able to do it by ourselves. And that's it, we're gonna button this thing up and we should be good to go. 15 minutes later. All back together. see it with it turned on now at night looks amazing or when it's a little bit darker out you know we did these circuit boards on these t302s with not only with a clear acrylic lid but with clear solder mask on the circuit on all the circuit boards so instead of the circuit boards being green or black or something they have no color so you're able to see all the copper all the copper traces on all these boards. All right, all back together. Time to hear it.